Hello to all my knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Who, Royal Diamond, a.k.a. Mr. Nieves, coming back at you with another incredible video. So let's get into it. So my topic today is going to be about words can't convey what actions can display. You understand what I'm telling you? There's so many of people in the world that can talk a good talk but can't walk the walk. You get what I'm saying? And you know who you are. So, what I mean by that is like, if you say you care for someone, then let your action demonstrate that. If you say you love someone, let your action demonstrate that. If you say that you're going to be there for someone, let your action demonstrate that. Because people listen more to your action than what you're saying to them. You understand what I'm telling you? But we've been programmed in such a society that we was never taught to be accountable for, for our own actions. You get what I'm saying? Teaching us as young um, women and men to be responsible, to keep your word. Remember all those years ago? Your word is bond. And that's what people base their relationship on. Like if you say you're going to be here at 3 o'clock, you're here at 2.55. You get what I'm saying? Like you're here 10, 15 minutes early because you want to be on time. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. So allow who you are to be demonstrated or display the person that you are through your actions. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what people see. As, as people get to know you, they get to identify you based off how you carry yourself, how you, what you say, um, what you do, what you promise, the promises you say you're going to keep, and all this stuff. People are basing um, their judgment or overall analysis about you based on how you carry yourself and how you treat other people. You get what I'm saying? So it, this goes into another thing, too, I'm about to get into. So that's what I mean. You know, don't say something and not do what you say. You know, a lot of people are afraid to either say no, don't know how to say no, they feel guilty when they say no, or they was never taught how to have a transparent conversation in two parts. The person saying something, the person in receiving it. You get what I'm saying? Just like building that confidence, be like, oh, you know, just to be honest with you, I'm unable to help you do this, that, and the third because, you know, I got other things already planned. Instead of feeling like, oh, you have to help everybody and their mama, then feel guilty and stressed out and worn down. Same thing, vice versa. If someone's being honest to you that, oh, I can't do this, then respect their decision. You get what I'm saying? Don't be all angry and mad like they're obligated to go out their way, stop their life to help you out. Because now you're acting like you're entitled. And when you go around acting like you're entitled, like people are supposed to be, help, supposed to be helping you, that's when you lose good people out of your life. That's why you see so much, so many people don't have genuine relationship or connection or even a love life because they don't know how to talk. They don't know how to be very honest. Sometimes, I guess sometimes it might be hard because it depends how you convey the message and it depends on the person who's receiving it. Because a mature person trying to have a conversation with someone who's very immature, nothing will ever get resolved. Because they're, they're not there to learn, to grow, to seek forgiveness, to come together, to build a solution that you both can grow. People are so quick to get rid of good people because they don't know how to say I'm sorry and I was wrong and are living this prideful way. You get what I'm saying? Like, are you willing to um, lose your mother because you don't know how to say you sorry and you was wrong? You know, are you willing to lose your best friend because you don't know how to say you're sorry you're going to do better and actually do better and keep your word? Like, is it really that hard for people? Like, what what is, just because you admit you're wrong doesn't make you less of a person. Doesn't make you weak as society try to program people to, to believe. You know what I'm saying? You showing your emotions to someone else doesn't make you less of a person. Doesn't make you weak. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to convey to people. Let your actions speak. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to build a tough skin in a sense of you're going to express who you are and be proud of who you are regardless of people's opinion. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying to go thinking, acting crazy, ghetto, doing the most, screaming, da 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 it's, it's okay. You know, there's a way to condone yourself and conduct yourself when you're around certain people. You know what I'm saying? But in a way that people's opinion are not going to be um, dictating how you should carry yourself or how you should, you know, feel like you have to explain something. You get what I'm saying? Like I was like, like I'm going back to when it comes to men. You know, men have been this this um, society printed image that oh, if a man tells you how he feel, he weak. And now all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, he's he's sassy, he gay, he this and that because he's being honest with his emotions. So 
you're basically trying to come trying to program men to feel like that to bottle everything up and then wonder why these men don't are not good fathers they're not around they're not accountable they're not responsible they're not good men you know what i'm saying they're out there doing crazy they're out there killing people doing all types of crazy stuff and then people want to sit there and be like well i don't know why they're acting like that men are dogs blah 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 okay so what did you contribute to the problem because you're clearly not contributing to the solution so you know what i'm saying like you can't complain if you're not doing nothing to change you understand what I'm telling you? There's no sense for you to sit there and keep being bitter and angry if you're not going to contribute to the solution that's going to help heal everybody. You know, heal yourself, heal the solution, heal the other person. It doesn't make sense. It takes two to tangle. You get what I'm saying? And that's the problem with a lot of people. They don't know when to say, like, I messed up. You know, I'm sorry. And if someone really means something to you, that they're going to they're gonna come correct. You know, and if you see that person come correct, then give them that chance, you know, and this goes into how you carry yourself and how you present yourself to other people. Just like I've be, I, I been preaching this for so many years. If you're going to be down the street half naked, right, and you want to act all ratchet and ghetto and showing all types of hoo-hahs, you can't be mad if the only men you are attracting are not good men that are just going to use you for sex and lie to you and get you pregnant and leave you and do all these other things. Same thing vice versa. Just like if a dude is going to be acting all crazy, all ghetto, don't show no self-respect, now you have a woman who is ghetto and ratchet and she's going to just destroy your self-esteem, then what? You get what I'm saying? You, you can't complain if you're not willing to change and, and really yield what you want out of your life. You know what I'm saying? It baffled me that, that, that so many people carry themselves as like this object of sex and lust and desire and they wonder why they don't have true love in their life. Then they wonder why they don't, they're not in marriage yet. Then they wonder why they don't have healthy relationship with their family, with their friends, with their kids. But it all starts within yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't be mad at someone else if you're the one displaying that to other people. You get what I'm saying? Just like, I can't be here half naked and thinking I'm going to find someone who's going to respect me because what I'm giving to them is, is, is I don't have respect for myself because I'm, I'm out here acting crazy and I'm half naked and all this craziness. Same thing with men. Like, like men out here, they're just acting crazy too. They're over here like not wearing underwear. They're showing imprints. They're acting real ghetto. They're sleeping with everybody and their mama. Everybody's getting pregnant. Nobody knows who the daddy is. Like, come on now. Like, what, what kind of chaos is that? Like, come on now, you was you know you wasn't raised to be like that. So why you keep acting like a child when you a grown person? You know, like when when is enough enough for you and when you're gonna start acting your age? Like, it doesn't make sense. You have to end the cycle. People don't realize that we are part of the problem. We're adding, creating these new crazy cycles, and they wanna blame everybody except the person who caused it, and then expecting someone else to pick up or or fix what you caused. What, what kind of delusion are we living in, honestly? And then you want to be mad at everybody else but yourself? Like, come on now. We got to do better as people. We got to do better as people. We have to take accountability. We have to change now in order to give humanity a fighting chance to survive in the future. People are not realizing this. The more generations that keep passing, the more confused and lost they are. They don't even know who they are. They don't even know what love is. They don't know what self-respect is. They don't know what morals is. They don't know what is doing the right thing or showing respect to other people. It became such like this empty shadow vessel of emptiness. They're just like, oh, oh. They do whatever they want and don't care. And then they wonder why they feel so empty and lost and destroyed and live in this crazy chaos within themselves. It's crazy. You have to end the cycle. You get what I'm saying? So this is what I mean. Words can't convey what your action can display. You can't say I'm a good person, but if your action not aligning to what you're saying, then what you're saying is buffoonery. It's foolish lies. You're only deceiving your soul. And that's the, that's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different solution, a different result. It starts within us. It doesn't make you a bad person if you admit you did something wrong and you want to change. And with that, I end my video. And like I say in all my videos, I love you. God bless you. I thank you. Until my next one, peace. It's time to change.